Spring Makeup Tutorial. Hi, my name is Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this spring makeup look. It features cool toned eyeshadows, which is different for me. I normally stick to the warm hues, so it was kind of fun to do this and switch it up, as well as this bright pink lip. So if you guys like this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so like usual, I'm not, I have no clue what I'm gonna do. So I am just gonna get started and see what happens. Let's start off with priming my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Ah, feels amazing. And then I'm gonna fill in some of my pores with this Makeup Forever Base Smoothing Primer. Just like that much. And warm it up a little bit and then just put it in where I have. I want to smooth out anywhere. Kind of have a nice little glow. So I'm going to take my foundation brush and this MAC strobe cream and just put a little bit on the brush. This actually helps before you put foundation on as well because then your foundation doesn't absorb into the brush. And I'm just gonna do this mainly on the high points where you would want a kind of a natural glow anyways. You guys heard me mention the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in my previous video, my Sephora haul, and I actually went and got another color. Uh, the dark tone I got was medium dark to Tahoe, and then I think um, that is when I'm super sunless tanning, like really getting at it, but that's just too much work to do all the time. So I went and got a lighter color, medium three stromboli, and I'm hoping to mix the two so I can always kind of find my good, perfect shade. So let's give these a good shake. Aww. And you guys all heard me say I didn't like the Sephora little beauty sponge blender. So literally so many of you told me to buy the real thing. Just get the beauty blender, it's amazing. So I took your advice and I got one. So I can already tell it feels so much nicer than the other one. So let's give this a shot. I think I'm going to do one pump of the each color and see how this goes with the beauty blender. I'm just gonna do it on the back of my hand and one and we're gonna see if this stuff really works hmm so far it's a lot softer on my face but just that one pump of each is like already gone on my hand and I only have half my face so I'm not getting the whole one pump and done thing. See if this works better. Slather it on like this and then blend it in. And yes, it's a lot darker than my face, but so is my body. Oh, and I totally am wearing a top right now. Just in case you were wondering. Okay, so I'm definitely liking putting dabs on my face first. I feel like it's covering better. Bounce, 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 bounce. Okay, this side of the face is like so much better because I literally took it and swiped it and then blended versus just dabbing the blender in and trying to go like this. Woo! Dude, I've been filming for eight minutes and 24 seconds and all I have on is my foundation. Whoops. All right, <clears throat> what do we want to do now? Let's try some concealer. So I went back and returned my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color that was too dark and I got light warm. Now this is legit really light, but that's how I like my concealer. I like me some highlight. Woo! Woo! This might be a little too light. You know what? We're going to go with it. Oh my god. Oh yeah. We're going to see how this works out. I feel like in my head I'm going like boing, boing, whatever. I'm using this thing. 
Oh my gosh, this is really light. It's kind of blending in okay. Right? I do like this formula though. It's super light, but I feel like it has amazing coverage. I kind of like to prime my eyes with my highlighter too and get a nice light base going on. Dude, this is scary. Let's see if we can save this. Yeah, this thing is way better than the Sephora one. I love Sephora, but the thing didn't even hold a torch to this guy. So thanks for the recommendation, you guys. You're awesome. Dude, for that being so light, I feel like I was able to blend that out all right and save, save myself a little bit. Right? Or no, I just, whatever. Okay, let's go with it. I feel like I kind of blended away all that concealer. So I'm gonna go on top of that, just under my eyes with the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer number six, and just do a tiny bit on my finger. Warm it up, because this is much thicker. And just do it like right here. All right, okay, okay. Now, let's just set under the eyes with my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. And we're just gonna set this so we don't get any creasing. And I think I'm gonna move on to the eyes and let the face kind of set and do its thing. So, I think I'm going to do kind of a natural eye. It may be a little cool tone because I, I always do warm tones. So, keep you on your toes. You guys know I love my corals. Max Blanc type looks like this. And we're just going to do some highlighting. Was I just talking country? Yeah. Oh, ah, I didn't. Put a base on first. Hold on. Let's start off with some soft ochre paint bot by MAC. Synthetic brush. Do this soft ochre. I feel like it's starting to get a little dry. Do your paint pots ever dry out on you? But I've had mine for quite a while. Got my base down. It's freaking hot here in Arizona. So our AC is kind of already on overload. I think it's 100 degrees today, which I'm not hating. I love warm weather. I'll take three months of really hot, dry heat for uh, nine months, nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah, that's right. Nine months of amazing, beautiful 70s and 80s weather. But I'm not gonna lie, I don't like when I'm wearing shorts and my but start sliding on my seat. Ugh, I hate that. Actually, I'm gonna go get a towel, hold on. Towel that I can sit on. Now we're ready for business. Blanc type in, on the brow bone. No, my battery's dying. All right, let's move fast. We're gonna go in with soft brown and a little blender brush. We're gonna go in the crease. Soft brown is a really nice, like, medium. It's not too warm, and it's not too cool. It's kind of right there in the middle. And then take a clean blending brush and blend it. Cause I am a crazy with my blending, as you know. Now in the upper crease, I'm gonna take one of my new favorite colors from MAC. I actually found it for my wedding day. It's called Soba. It's like a really pretty taupey, camely color. And a smaller blending brush. And kind of go above that crease because I have hooded eyelids, so I like to make sure I get some of this color above the crease. That way when I'm looking forward, you can see it. Kind of flick it out, up and out on the ends. Then I'm going to put this same color soba on the bottom lash line, just on the outer. Very outer, like third. 
just to give a little bit of definition. Now for an inner corner highlight, we're going to do my favorite. Actually, I lied. I'm going to switch it up. We're going to do Max Shroom. It's a nice highlight. It's like a sh um, no glitter. It's on the cooler side. It's more of kind of a true neutral highlight. I'm trying to switch it up for you. Never put shimmer on my brow bone, but I'm just feeling it. We're going for it. Tiny bit on the upper part. And then we're going to go back and blend that. Blend, blend, blend. What am I going to do now? We're going to barely darken up with a little bit more of a pointer brush the crease with a tiny bit of a cooler brown color. This is espresso. Just a tiny, tiny bit in this outer V just to add a tiny bit of definition and I'm not bringing it in I want to keep the lid nice and light and create a big doughy eye effect so really we're just going on the outer crease here key key Whoop. now blend a little bit and for the lid color, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with Blanc type again. Just to keep it nice and bright and simple. Just kind of patting it on. I'm gonna go in one more time with a little bit of Soba. And just kind of make sure we didn't blend too much of this away. Get some in that inner corner as well to balance it out. Alrighty. Now we're gonna do some NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner. Brighten up the inner waterline. Right, I'm gonna curl my lashes, put on some L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara on the top, my MAC Extended Play Gigaback on the bottom, and I'm gonna apply some Balsies I'll be right back because my camera is about to die and I need to charge it really quick. And then I'll be back to finish this off. Okay, I'm back. I also applied my false lashes. And before my wedding, I literally went lash crazy trying to find the perfect false lashes for my wedding day. And I ordered a whole bunch of different brands. And I think my after comparing them all and seeing them in person, my favorite ones right now are by Esquito. And those are what I'm wearing right now. They are in the style Voila Lash. So I am really, really loving these. The quality is amazing. The band isn't too thick. They look really real and they're soft. So, and then also I did my brows. As I expected, my brow routine completely changed. I went to more of a natural, kind of spiky, feathery brow look, and all I use is powders. So if you guys want to see an updated eyebrow tutorial, give this a thumbs up or leave a comment below, or both, that'd be awesome too. That'll let me know and I'll do it for you. Okay, let's move on to finish off the face. So let's try and bronze up my face. I actually just got a new bronzer. This is NARS, but it's in Casino, which is a little bit darker than Laguna. Morphe M404 brush. Hmm, I'm digging this color. It's not as yellow. It's more of like a brownish bronzy. Which when I'm darker, I feel like I like better. I'm kind of digging applying it with this kind of like duo fiber what are these brushes called where it's not really thick it's just like really fanny because i look back at previous videos of mine where i'm bronzing and i'm going way too ham so i'm trying to do a little bit more of a natural if you could say bronzy highlighty look today and i'm kind of liking this Leave a comment below, let me know what's your favorite brush to bronze and then contour with. I would love to know. 
Oh, I'm really digging this color. No one talks about Casino. They always talk about Laguna, but I'm like, woo, really digging it. Gonna use this MAC 224 brush with my Marc Jacobs Highlight Contour in 40 Mirage Filter. I'm gonna use the cool contour color. Do my nose a little bit. Go up into the brow. Kind of do the tip, make it look a little shorter. A little in the middle of the Cupid's bow. And I'm gonna go on ahead and grab my NARS Eda brush. Under the lip, forehead, get it up in that hairline so you don't have a white white spot and we'll get it on the hair after. I'm just gonna take a big brush and just kind of blend it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in and highlight. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. blush brush and do it in the light color under my eyes a little on the nose middle of the forehead clean up that contour now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of an extra glow so I want to look nice and like sun kissed so I'm going in with the Betty Lou Manizer, and it looks like this. It's just a really, really pretty, like, sun-kissed. Kind of do that above or over the bronzer, and I just kind of like to do it as a blending. Now, I think I'm really feeling... Before I do blush, I want to pick out my lip color to make sure it vibes together. So I'm feeling the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Bambi. So I think I'm going to go for a cool... I got stuff all over my shirt. I think I'm going to go for a cool tone um, pinky blush to kind of go with that. So I'm going to go with MAC Well Dressed because they seem to jive pretty well together. This isn't too pink but it definitely is a nice kind of pinky color. I'm gonna go on with another Morphe M404. I have two of them, and I noticed I was going to ham on my blush too, so anything that I tend to overdo, I will use one of these light, lighter brushes that aren't as dense. Little tip with blush, if you guys have big cheeks like me and you don't wanna emphasize them even more, but you wanna still give a little bit of a color and something for your cheeks, Line up your blush in the spot of the outer corner of your eye and where your nose, the outer part of your nose. So if you draw a line here and here, it's kind of in this area where it meets up. That's kind of where I target it. Just gives a nice little wash of color. And again, if you think you kind of went a little bit too much, you can always just blend it with a big brush. And last up, you guys know is my favorite part highlighter so I'm gonna take this uh, real techniques contour brush and I'm gonna do the beckle beckle <laughs> Becca highlighter and opal and just do a little bit of that on the highest points kind of also above the uh, brow so you have a little eye lift and have it come down and just knee a little on the cupid's bow or lot, chin, tip of the nose, and maybe a little bit right on the top. Last step is lipstick, and we're gonna do first line my lips with kind of a nude pinky color just to get a base on there. This is NYX nude pink lip liner, and of course I overline my lips like usual. Sorry, if you can hear noises, my husband is playing video games with his friend in our living room right next door. Try to tell the men to keep it down and they just don't listen. That was so weird to say my husband. 
I think that's literally the second time I've said that since we got married two weekends ago and it still is like really weird, but cool. Okay, once you got that down, take your liquid lipstick and just go for it. Ooh this color gives me life. This is a really good springtime look. I think that's what I'll title this video. And this is really awkward, but I don't like when you can see the inside of your lips. So I always try to dry them and then get the lipstick inside too. All right. Now I'm gonna go with my towel and get rid of all this beautiful brown in my hair. Joys of really light hair. And see how dirty it is? Oh. That's how I do it. Run it along the hairline. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Now to finish the look, I'm going to set everything with MAC Fix Plus. We're going to a housewarming party and I think we'll be outside and it's really hot. So we're gonna make sure I can set my makeup and it's not gonna go anywhere. I love setting spray. I feel like it just brings your makeup to life or something and it feels amazing. That is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys like this look and that you learned something or give you some type of inspiration. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, have a fabulous day. Peace.